to my channel cake. I'm your hostess, Suzanne. Today we're going to be making this super cute pink camo cake for Caitlin's birthday. If you'd like to know how I made it and how you can make it too, just keep watching. I have four Wilton small decorators bag, all with a number three Wilton tip. One bag is filled, the darkest bag is filled with brown with burgundy. The second bag is filled with some soft pink, just a little bit. The next bag is filled with soft pink. Of course, a lot more in that one. And the last one is colored with flesh tone. I have a cutting board. The item you're using has to be able to fit in your freezer. I have a camouflage print taped to my board and I have, I've used a eight inch cake board as my guide so I know where to stay within. And over that I have parchment paper all taped onto my cutting board. And I have placed it on my turntable. We've completed the top of Caitlin's camouflage cake. It needs to set in the freezer for a good 15 to 20 minutes. That gives us just enough time to do the sides. I have the darkest pink here, which I'm going to do on the sides. Okay. 
Okay, now that we have the frosting on the sides, let's go ahead and get the sides all smooth. As you can see right here, near the bottom, needs a little bit of help. I'll go ahead and add some more frosting there. That looks pretty good, let's go around again. When we come to the end, we wanna gradually lift off. Go ahead and use our heated metal bench scraper trick. Smooth out that buttercream for our last time around. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and transfer it to the cake stand at this time. I just took this out of the freezer. It was in there for a good 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of my cutting board and try to so carefully put it onto the top of Caitlin's camo birthday cake. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, it's frozen here, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to position it onto the top of Caitlin's camo birthday cake. It's a little bit damp, is exactly what you want. And, oops, got my finger in a buttercream here. Make sure it's kind of in the middle, covering all of it. It looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and smush it down just ever so slightly, like this. The warmth of my hand will release this buttercream from the parchment paper. At least that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see. And the moment of truth is when you take this off to see if you have any of those little gaps in your frosting. I like it. Let's go ahead and give this beautiful camel cake a border. Here I have a piece of cling wrap and I'm just going to dollop all the different colors on here. Instead of pushing it through the number three Wilton tip, which would take me forever, I'm gonna cut them out. <laughs> just like this, like that. Here's our plastic wrap right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and just willy-nilly plop these everywhere. We want them kind of in a straight-ish log. We're gonna go ahead and roll this up and stick it in a large Wilton's decorated bag where I have a 2D tip. Go ahead and roll it up. You don't want any saran wrap in the middle of this log of frosting. I just went ahead and squeezed some out till I saw multiple colors coming out. Didn't want it to be all brown to start with. Caitlin's camel birthday cake is looking super cute. Let's go ahead and give her a border on the bottom as well. Nothing fancy, just some little burst. Just look like little stars all the way around the bottom of the cake. That just helps frame the cake and hide any imperfections you may have had along the way. There we go, Caitlin's camo birthday cake is completed. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you are enjoying watching my videos. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. It truly does mean the world to me. If you like this video, Caitlin's camo birthday cake, please give her a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave those down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Wish Caitlin a happy birthday down in the comment section. I'm having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Until next time, make it a great day. Okay, our reverse buttercream technique. Just, I just took this out of the oven. <laughs> well, that would be funny. I uh, just took this out of the freezer. It is in the freezer getting cold. Well, what else are you gonna do in the freezer? <laughs> okay. okay, now that I have the sides covered, let's go ahead and get these sides nice and flat. Is that the right word? Flat? 
that doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna do a little bit of do a little bit of better. I'm gonna go ahead. If you have any comments, please leave. Please leave. Please, if you 